Alright, three, two, one, Doper TV. We got Louis really Down this year. What's good? How you doing, man? What's going on? Nothing much, another day, another dollar. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I'm about to interview you, got a couple good questions for you. Let's start it off. Where are you from, man? I am from Atlanta, Georgia. Alright. How connected is the music scene there? Mad connected, I'd say specifically right now too. Like everybody's super like like that sound that Atlanta sound is kinda of branching out across the US if you ask me. Like everybody's basing their sound off what's coming out of there. What drives your determination? Hmm. People. Like just general influence, like I don't know, I feel like uh, people deserve like a little something better in terms of like showmanship, you know what I mean? Like, great music along with a character who's also dope, like somebody to look up to, you know? Who inspired that? Who inspired it? What, who? Could have been anything. What inspired it? I don't know, I like to say I'm just a good person. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I don't know like how many genuinely good people there are left, but or if I'm just bugging and they're all I'm genuine and I'm tripping, but like... Not true, I feel you. I'm just out here being real genuine and it's working out. <laughs> Any other musicians in the family? Uh, nah, just me. I mean, I got like cousins and uncles and stuff, but like nothing like... Nothing. Like, oh yeah, they play sax for like, nah, no shit like that. What are your strong music attributes? Piano. Yeah. Definitely, like, I took piano class in high school for like two years. <laughs> or three, three years maybe, something like that. And I always had a keyboard that I just played on my own, like I made beats off of, like, where I would play like real songs, like bass and melody and shit like that. And like, really just be having records. And like, the piano had like a two track, like all you could do is record like two tracks over the shit. Yeah. So I would just like, take one and record like a melody and the other one like, Record another melody that would go to the master piano, like that the uh, teacher had at the end of class and shit, and put drums on that bitch. <laughs> so <laughs> and go home, down. yeah, like and go home and like remake the whole beat and shit, or like practice new chords all day and like try to remember as best I could. Like, all right, I did, I made this one up, like, really, you know, yeah. and take it home and like make music. And that's how I really got started with like keyboard. But I played a uh, baritone too, like mini tuba in high school. This shit was like at the time it was embarrassing, but like now I'm like wishing I was more into it. Nah, I used to play violin back in the day. I feel you. So where's your music taking you? Straight to the top. Straight to the top. Straight up. I mean, the music is like everything I'm trying to do is like real authentic, and everything done with like real character to it. Like building a real story for me, and not just like rapping to be rapping like I have like this fantasy picture of like you know like the way shit was like rap shit looked in the 90s on the videos how shit was just popping like million dollar videos and shit and like just like the scene was cool like shit was cool you know what I'm saying like shit was just dope yeah that's my vision at least now how do you feel like that changed though like what everything's everything's uh like easy access now like, everybody has a camera. Everybody has a beat program. Everybody has a laptop. Like, then, like, nobody, like, if you had a camera to shoot a video, you were, like, one out of, like, a hundred, maybe. With some dope shit. Yeah. Now it's, like, every nigga got a camera. And it's just, like, when every nigga has a camera, and you just have this mass overloaded, like, constant feed of, like, shit coming through. Not everything's going to be good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, so, it's, it's harder to kind of, like, pick out, like, the so dope you, ones. You feel like that's what watered down music? I don't think it's watered down. I just feel like there's more of it. So it's just like the needle in the haystack shit. You know what I mean? Like Iron Man said something. I think it was like when you have a needle in the haystack, you just bring a fucking magnet to that bitch. You ain't even got to look. You know what I mean? Yeah. You attract the shit. That's what it's about, the attraction. So you're into anime? Anime, no. No. Superheroes, yes. <laughs> Big difference. Big difference. Big difference. Trust me, you're not. Big ass difference. Yeah. All right, so, uh, what city has the best loud pack? 
California. California? Yeah. yeah. Easy. I feel you. What would you say? What would you say about the difference between California rap game and the Atlanta rap game? California niggas like that bounce. Like, they love that bounce. That shit they just, you know what I'm saying? Be at the party and fun. They love that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, all the way, like, even down to, like, YG's new shit, like, it got that bounce to it. You know what I mean? Where our shit is more, like, mechanical. Like, less, less feel. You know what I mean? Less dance, more just, like, this shit is hard. You know what I mean? And that's kind of what is breeding, like, the rap lane for, like, Niggas like Young Thug and Future and shit It's cause the shit just gotta be hard You know what I mean And nothing else Just hard And I think that's the difference in the sound So which state would you say Has the best sound then? Oh I don't know Yeah I feel like the state ain't got nothing to do with the shit Well you know what I mean The area you know what I mean All they say the west South Oh okay like that The specific though You know what I mean Just east coast East Coast? Yeah, East Coast. Yeah. Like, West Coast, the niggas is futuristic for real, but, like, East Coast is, like, there's more lifestyle to it. You know what I mean? Like, it's on a day-to-day. Being on the East is, like, if you're living in New York, like, you got life day-to-day shit going on, you know what I'm saying? Whereas out West, like, it could be a little calmer, a little chiller, you know what I'm saying? You got a little more time to sit back and think about things and take shit in, but somewhere in New York, Atlanta, like, you gotta, gotta get up and gotta go at it every day. Or some shit going on every day that's influencing what you're doing, you know what I mean? Yeah. And that's what kind of paints your story rather than sitting around and, I don't know, LA be popping though. Sometimes it depends, man. It all, it all depends. Like, I can't really, like, pinpoint nothing. What do you want to do past music? Film, writing, always want to produce. Uh, I know I got one more in there. What is it? Fashion, definitely. Definitely fashion. If you had to choose which one of those would be the top. Fuck. That's a good question. Fashion? Fashion. Just because I feel like the influence like how Kanye's doing this shit with the Yeezys and shit like yeah he's like the prices are crazy but it's like being talked about you know what I mean and like when people do have them it's like a head turner you know what I'm saying yeah. and like it makes you think differently you know what I mean it makes you kind of think about something you would normally think about on a regular like real quick but make you think about it from a fresh angle you know what I mean so you mean like it brings people together that yeah in one common thought yeah, yeah. What inspired you to, what inspired you to get into writing them? To writing? Quince? Definitely one of my fellow like awful label mates, group mate, Freeze Mo, you know, whatever you want to call it, but I was, I had been producing like way before I was rapping. I just started rapping like a year and a half ago. And basically, I mean, he was a nigga I was making all the beats for and this nigga writes raps fast and I can make the beat and uh, he was just like yo you should start like, I remember doing my first one like like I, sp- I freestyled it to him and like remembered the freestyle all the way to the studio did it the same and like it ended up being like my first song that I put out now what got you to that like was it school or is it, that was just natural producing I used to be a part of this uh, other collective that goes by NRK when I was younger and when I was in high school actually and they like introduced me like I always had a MacBook but like they introduced they was like yo like you know you got GarageBand on there and I was like what and the day I found out I had GarageBand I made a beat that day and it's been on since so I took piano classes and amidst all that and like was playing instruments in between all that shit I was into the music you're in the music art. What's your favorite artist, man? Like, producer? I got a couple. Like, Timbaland, definitely. Uh, fuck. 
that's another one. Roddy Jerkins, the nigga who produced like Janet and Brandy and Michael and shit. Yeah. Then Quincy Jones, definitely. That nigga is ill. <laughs> nigga stupid ill. Yeah. And then uh, we got one more. Producer, huh? Let me see here. I know, I mean, I like my own shit. <laughs> Any advice to upcoming artists? Any advice to upcoming artists? Yeah. Um, don't be afraid to do everything. Like, there's no, uh, <clears throat> like, cap on what, what you can do. Like, motherfuckers like to work one job and one job only. When now it's like 2016, you can do a lot of different jobs and be good at them. It's just about where your discipline is at. That was that hard for you? To get disciplined. Was it hard for me? Yeah. Nah, not really. It wasn't hard. Like, I got, like, a military father, so discipline's, like, always been in the family, but, like, I had to break away from what I was disciplining myself on. You see what I'm saying? Like, take, a, take my focus and put it elsewhere and then just apply that same discipline. And so I would say, nah, like, putting the discipline there is actually easy. But actually learning the new, like, focus and intention and the way to approach what I want to do and what I'm trying to do for not just me but for people, that shit is hard. Because it's like, I really genuinely do care for each and every person. But that doesn't mean every person's doing right. You feel what I'm saying? Or right, so to speak, in your world. Exactly. So what's right to me, you know what I mean? Like if there is anything right, I have, to, I have to be in that mentality or mindset, that mindset of, like, it doesn't matter what's right. Like, I fuck with you as a person. You know what I'm saying? I don't mean I got to kick it with you every day, but, like, I understand you as an entity, you know what I'm saying, as a person on this earth. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. All right, well, let's wrap it up for Dope TV. Yeah, we're gonna stop it through. Yeah, man, Dopey TV, this shit is tight. Check it out. All right, you got any plugs you want to shout out real quick? Any plugs? Like, social media. You know, oh, like, shit. Oh, oh let me get my Dougie on. Uh, shout out Off The Records for sure. Shout out, uh, my nigga Quince, my pink pyramid, Quince and his bitch. Shout out my brother, my real brother. Shout out, uh, my mom. And, uh, shout out me, nigga. Fuck you mean. Where can I follow you, follow me on Twitter at Louis Diamonds. Snapchat, same thing. Instagram, same thing. L-U-I Diamonds, one word. You dig? All right.